post it, what to eat for like vitamin D and iron levels and uh, stuff. So we've already done a little bit of a Q&A, but now you need to tell us what do you think is the most important message in the book? I think the most important message in the book is the fact that Rujuta has even written a pregnancy book. I think everybody writes diet books, exercise books, yoga books. Um, of course, Rujuta has also done, I think, one of the biggest books to have come out of India, How Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight. I think this is a one of a kind because, I mean, for every woman, I think, everybody's a little nervous, anxious, scared the first time you become a mother, the first time you get pregnant. So an informative book which guides you through, I think, the journey which is so very special, um, which you get a lot of jitters, nervousness, sometimes you overeat, undereat. There's so many things taking place during pregnancy. So I think this is literally going to be a pregnancy Bible for a lot of women. And I'm so happy that uh, we've done this together and I'm here today to launch this book that's finally out. It's an exciting moment and I'm sure this one's going to be even bigger than Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight. Well, thank you for that. But you know, we've been together since Don't Lose Your Mind, yeah. Lose Your Weight. And uh, I think like all the trends that you have propelled, uh, Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight also propelled another trend of, um, you know, actors endorsing diet books. Don't you think so? Yes, I, I mean, of course. I think that definitely, I think that was the first time that I think, you know, yeah. Course, we yeah. actually so openly had written about the diet fads and what kind of right eating was about. I think in India, everyone was very averse to uh, eating right. Everybody thought they were eating right, but nobody was really implementing that. And the fact that when Rujuta really came out uh, and openly spoke about, you know, how women actually, not just women actually, I think even men, they lose their mind more than they lose inches on their waist. Because people in the gym ke mare ja rahe, mare ja rahe, char ghante mare ja rahe. Ke kya ho rahe hai? But nobody's really losing weight. So I think the idea being is that, you know, you have somebody to guide you and uh, I think yes, ever since then there have been gazillions and thousands of books after that. Yeah, so in a way you actually made the, uh, the book industry get, got them rolling. Huh? Yeah, there was I mean, no such thing as a diet section, Pele. Now there's a health section. There have been a lot of firsts. Yeah. Nah? <laughs> and especially with me, including the paparazzi and the media, if I would like to take credit. The whole gym <laughs> session, the whole gym look. Tum log ne kya yaar? Pura Reebok, Adidas, Nike khali ho gaya. Sab mere ghar pe. Ki yaar, every day wo pressure ho gaya ki kuch pehno, kuch naya pehno. Karina ne kya pehna hai gym mein. So everything, there's a first. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So it's fine. But it's okay. I love it and I love, I love my photographers. And please follow me and please click me. I don't yeah. care. And as much as you want. As much as you want. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, um, what do you think was the one food that really helped you sail through your pregnancy and post it especially? Because when you lost weight post-pregnancy, you know, it was almost like uh, Tushin because everyone's like, oh God, what is she doing? You know, why is she losing so much weight? No, I think that in fact it's a very gradual process because it's, yes, it has been six months, but like I said that in, it's going to be this whole one year, you know, we're going to do it the right way, we're going to eat the right kind of food, uh, just so everybody knows, of course, I had today, it was, uh, I mean, I had lots of ghee, you know, I mean, I told him that even in my dal, there should be a little bit of it, uh, that I enjoyed the taste and I think that also it's, I mean, it's, literally helping me, keeping my skin, my hair, everything is like feeling great. And the most important, I'm also very happy. So I think a happy mother is the best mother in the world. Yes, I think, um, you know, some loud applause to that because um, the book is also meant for uh, women who are working and to really ensure that women do take the time off to look after themselves. Because like she rightly said, a happy mother is the best mother that a child can have. Um, and not a skinny mother is the best mother that a child can have, you know. And happy women invariably look fit and are healthy and oh, are, God. yeah. Absolutely. I think that's so important, uh, you know, I mean, because being a mother, of course, carrying the child for nine months, then giving birth, 
looking after the child after that. I think there's a lot that comes into it, a lot that comes into play, uh, you know, mentally, physically, hormonally, so many things are taking place, you know, which I think even women sometimes don't even know what they're going through. Uh, so I think the most important thing is that to figure out an eating plan, eat right, eat every two hours, eat the right kind of food. In fact, in the book, what is most important is that you've given tips on each trimester, yes. which is I think brilliant because so many different things are actually taking place in each trimester, you know. The last trimester being for the brain development which is actually so important. So what exactly will help for that? I think all that information is out there. And another very important message that we send with that we want to send out there is that too many women obsess only about what to eat once they're pregnant or after they have delivered because you know they would just like to quickly lose that weight but what is of paramount importance is that what is it that you were eating much before you got your pregnant uh, much before you got pregnant because your pregnancy and how quickly you get back in shape post delivery is very much dependent on what kind of health status yeah, you your, have before. your fitness levels basically how um, you know uh, of course, you know, being eating right, exercise, it's been a combination of that even pre-pregnancy. Yeah. Uh, of course, Rujita being one of the first ones that I called when I actually made up my mind that I wanted to have, um, you a know, baby. a child. Yeah. I actually called her up and I said, listen, this is what I'm planning. Obviously, don't tell anyone, but let's work towards it because I really want to be fit. And, uh, you know, if I'm fit before that, I think that it's, you know, I'm going to smooth... Uh, you know, sail through. And, uh, you know, of course, with the support of, you know, so many people, everyone, my friends, family, Rujuta, everybody, I think it's been a well documented pregnancy and a pregnancy that I think has just, you know, flown by. So it's actually made me feel that, wow, okay, I can. Maybe I should I do it again? <laughs> Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, like the way that it was this whole size zero thing and it really inspired a whole lot of people. It actually changed the way people were dieting. People are now looking at Indian food to lose their weight. Similarly, I think post your pregnancy, no one's going to be, feel scared of getting pregnant because, you know, yeah. yeah. Because you've kept up with your work and you've kept yeah, up with so. your glam quotient all throughout. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. I think that I've always just done, like you know me, it's always about what, um, just following my heart. And basically, I think just being uh, clean, happy, positive thoughts, n that also is, I think, the most important thing, you know, when you're carrying your child, even post-delivery, uh, so many thoughts come to your mind. But actually, uh, food is also related a lot to the brain and the way you think, you know. So the key and the crux is that, you know, if you keep your gut clean, automatically, you know, your brain, everything, everything is just cleansed completely. And that's what I've always done for the last 10 years since we've been together. Absolutely, yeah. uh, but do you think that it's, um, because this is the common perception that people have, that, you know, it's easier for stars to come out there and say, be positive and eat clean and it's not so for us uh, common people. What would you want to say to that? In fact, I think it's, uh, it's easier for the common people to kind of eat clean because there's nothing really that we're doing that's out of the box. Correct. I think we're actually eating what's completely normal and what's made at home. It's basic home food. I mean, you know, even that's why I hate going out, you know. I don't like going to parties or restaurants because I think the idea is that I'd rather enjoy like a nice movie on television and eat a home cooked meal. So I mean, how hard is that?